With constant imports coming in by train, barge, and truck, the Port of Moorhead City is looking into a new warehouse facility to help keep up with the constant demand. Nine on your side's Claire Curry joins us live in Moorhead. And Claire, why is there a need for a new facility? Angie Chip Kilmeyer, the port operations manager, says since 1952, these warehouses have served its purpose. But now it's time for upgrades and more space. We're over 100% capacity in the warehouses, so we tend to hot seat space. So as soon as one product is in the warehouse, we've got forecast to when that product's going to be out, and we go ahead and start selling that to the next customer. Kilmeyer says that each warehouse can hold around 15 to 20 tons of product, whether that be lumber, grain, rock, or rubber. We're the second larger importer of raw rubber in the country. Uh, those go to uh, tire plants, both in North Carolina as well as Virginia and South Carolina, uh, and then out to the customers from there. And to keep up with the high demand of product, a new 75,000 square foot facility is needed to keep storing cargo. Every ton that comes through the port, so 1.5 million tons last year, that's either directly loaded onto a truck or rail car by the port employees or offloaded from a ship by the stevedores and the union laborers. Along with the facility, he says they hope to grow their team. Here in Moorhead City, we've seen a growth probably a little more than 25% on our staff overall as we've grown the business. I think that will continue with the growth of the port and the expansion, uh, whether that's directly on the state port staff or its other supporting staff. And future developments may expand onto Radio Island as well. On this side of the terminal, we're 128 acres. We've got another 158 acres on Radio Island, and we've pretty much used every ounce of space we can, both inside and outside, on the general terminal side with 128 acres. So we need that space on Radio Island for continued growth. Kilmeyer says they hope to break ground on the warehouse this fall and should be up, finished up in the spring of this upcoming year. Live in Moorhead City, Claire Curry, nine on your side. Claire, thank you.